We are making a giant fireplace prop for our Christmas set. Let me introduce you to Amy. Say hi, Amy. Hi. So Amy is our head of our props and costume department, as well as just an assistant who helps us out. You would have seen her in the costume vlog if I had finished and released the costume vlog, which I haven't. So that'll come out soon and you'll meet her for the first time weeks ago. But we're getting stuck into this prop today. I've, I've done a bit of marking. Amy's done the construction. Once I get this in place, I love it. And this is why I wanted to pick the vlog back up again. Because we could have made a video and like, I made a fireplace Christmas set out of foam. Like, so there's so much we do that is really cool stuff that isn't content. But it's just fun to share it. I've done one straight cut in the middle, one angled from the other side, and then one angled on this side. The idea is with those three cuts, let's see how this works. If it's satisfying. Hey, look at that. And I think that's how we are. Uh, that's how we do the brickwork. That looks pretty clean. So I've, I've loosely done the lines. If you take over from here and do the lines, and then we'll just slap some white paint on it, we've got a fireplace. All right, this is all drying up now. This is gonna look so good all put together. You've done an amazing job, Amy. Thank you. Hell yeah. This is one of those random spur of the moment ideas that like someone says and it turns into a thing that we leap into. So this was actually Rob's idea. We were sitting down having a meeting about the, uh, the gingerbread project and Rob goes, imagine if we use that TV as a fireplace. So we covered up the TV and based on his idea, we made a fireplace exterior that you'll see in a second. We chuck around the TV, which is height adjustable. So we adjust the height to fit the prop dimensions we wanted and then made. And then as a result, we're gonna have an awesome little fireplace to go into our little Christmas set. This is ridiculously cool. Let's go down first and then we'll go back. So let's go back. Lovely. Beautiful, look at that. Oh, this is gonna look so good. All right. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, yep, this is the, uh, the final piece here. Cool. Oh my god. And I'm so glad we got this one done. Yep. Look at that. Just wait till we get the fire going. Well done, Amy. Here we are. We're ready to film. Ah, we, look, we have the finished bloody set. Look at this. Big setup. So good. So cool. And we got out, we've got to put these on. Here, can you hold this for me? Ah, oh, these are delightful. Festive time. <laughs> Tis the season. Looks to... great. This is, our, this is our uniform for December. <laughs> I can get behind it. And now, that's the thing, it's like we're building up our props and costumes stuff, like incrementally. Now we have, like how good does that look? It looks like it's all part of, anyway. Really cool. Here's the question. What is this vlog? Because we've shown that being put together. We've shown this set. It's a Christmas vlog. It's a, pre it's a Christmas vlog. Merry Christmas. It's the most wonderful time of the, what are we, there's you go. Christmas dances, everyone. Heck yeah. <laughs> We're making gingerbread houses. We all have a kit. We're getting creative. There's some spare gingerbread in case it breaks or some uh, little expansions or creative ideas. Otherwise, we're all going to have pretty much the same materials. We're going to see who can make the best gingerbread houses. Oh, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised as to who our judges are. That's, that is a head. That, that's yeah. a tree. That's a tree. I think if we can all eat gingerbread what it is, now. You can take it home if you want. Well, I can't eat it, so oh, I'm crap. happy to drink. Gluten. Oh no, we should have got gluten-free gingerbread. That's okay. I'm happy this, the um, office can have it, and you guys. And you can have as much as you well, want. Well, do you know what? This, I'm going to be honest. This is... Uh, the most touched. Pretty, it's, <laughs> it's 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 from the shock of not winning. <laughs> okay. Not even being considered for hey, the win. Hey, it's not over yet. That's, please. You want to put in one final please. word for yourself? Because mm. at the end of the day, I have, there's the, at the end of the day, there's how these look, but there's also how this video looks. I, uh, and do you know who did that? This guy. I made the video. I think that, I bring I think entertainment that, to I think you. that gets credit. And then there's Rob. I've got two kids, by the way, who make lots of mess on the ground. <laughs> My job is absurd, and uh, I have to say, I love every minute of it. You know what I also love? The chaos and the questions from you guys. Come on in, Rob. Rob's like, come on, you give me a hand. I don't know why I feel the impulse to shut this door. It's just behind the scenes. We're prepping a, a studio for a segment, and this segment is, I'm in a freaking costume sitting by the fire and answering some questions from you. Like, look at this. Look at this cozy fireplace. And this cozy. We have a fireplace now. Emily Gifford asked, do you have ADD or ADHD? Because I do and I relate so much to the way your brain works. 
I have not been diagnosed and I have not, I, I, I don't feel like I have a disorder, but I do feel challenged by elements of my personality that I feel there is certainly crossover <laughs> to. Uh, I think that's probably as much as I can really confidently say. Nirmal Prabhu says, what pointers can you give to a first time video editor to start working on? Start. That's the pointer. Just get stuck into it. You'll learn things as you go, but the biggest problem in learning to do something is hesitating to do it because you feel like you need to learn the right thing to start. But you learn things when you start, so just do it. Download DaVinci Resolve, it's free, and it's awesome, and we use it for everything. Seely, Seely, Seely. So you told us how you find people. Is, wait, is, is the name Seely? Yes. Seely, Seely, Seely. S-Y-R-L-E-Y. -E Once, not yes, four times. not four times. Okay, I right, just don't know how to say it. Right, so you told us how you find people to hire, but how would you go about some about trying to be hired by you or any content creator in terms of getting noticed by someone like you and saying, hey, I want to work with you? <laughs> That's a good question. Say, hey, I want to work with you once and just be present and supportive and shh, that's it. That's all you need to do. Like, I know it sounds bad to say, but the worst thing you can do is keep asking because they'll shut you out mentally. But what, the best thing you can do is be present, state your intention. The reality is if you say, I would like X and you've offered value over time and you're just there and supportive, then they're cognizant of that. But also be realistic. Be aware that even in my addressing this, I am aware that there'll be hundreds of people who try and do that. So that's fine, but then you have to sort of take that with a grain of salt and realize that it's over years that I notice those things. So it's really not like a, a moment that you can do a thing that will get an outcome you want. It's actually a, a mode of being that will get you where you want. Does that make, does that think deeply so. profound? Is that what I just did? I wouldn't go that far. Am I a guru? Is that? It's the beard. It is the beard. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> there you go. We did some little questions. We've got a fireplace. That was a good idea, Rob. Well done. You must be pretty chuffed seeing that. It, it, reality. it does look amazing. It's very cool. We've got an amazing team. Thanks for watching the vlog, guys. I'll see you later.